So here's Team Plastique with the spinnaker. I'm at about 260 miles from the Cape Verde. Main sail all out, spinnaker and foresail. The sun, great navigating conditions. Not everyone shows the same enthusiasm as the Italian skipper. At a thousand miles south, the group ahead just went through the Poto Noir's hell. And unbelievably for the Vendée Globe, five opponents were in eyes reach, racing in a pocket handkerchief a mile wide. Oh my gosh. What a blast. It's extremely hard with squall up to 35 knots. It's a great fight, really, in a swelling sea to watch the boats like that sailing about. It's beautiful. I've never been through such a poteau noir. Last night was dantesque, with squall from all directions. I'm beginning to see the end of the tunnel, riding the wind in what could look like the beginning of trade winds. The first opponents were through a particularly wide and virulent poteau noir, but with more than 26 miles lead, Armel Le Cléache was the first to pull out of it. The poteau noir is now behind me. After a rough night, the sky has cleared this morning. I'm on southeast trade winds. Glad to say the Poto Noir is passed. I'll now take advantage and rest after the invigorating 24 hours I just went through. From now on, it's an open way for the Vendée Globe's leader, who should cross Wednesday morning the symbolic equator line between both hemispheres.